So let's talk about the Z3 and those rear subframe bushings. Was it worth it? How do I like them? How do they feel in comparison to rubber bushings? Find out next. All right, so I went with the 95A durometer in place of the old rear subframe bushings, the rubber ones. They just have a lot of flex to them, and I'm sure it's to account for a lot of the vibration and to make it more comfortable during daily use. But honestly, they just flex so much. I could start to feel it so bad over the past couple months that I just didn't want that anymore. I really wanted it to feel you know, solid and predictable and linear in feeling. Uh, so I went with the 95A, and that's the hardest you can go before you go aluminum, I'm sure, or Delrin maybe might be a little bit harder, but that's what I went with there. For the rear trailing arm bushings, I went with uh, 95A as well. Uh, you really just want that rear trailing arm to articulate up and down on its axis. You don't want any of that side to side flex. Uh, so I just went with that as well on there. I didn't do camber caster bolts. Um, I'm still gonna figure out what I wanna do in the rear here. I do like how much camber it runs. I mean, it does wear in the tires really bad, but it feels so good. It just grips in the corners. I just really like how much camera's there. I know that correcting like the geometry of the rear end is really important. So I'm still looking into that. How can I do that? Uh, maybe it is what I need to go with is the camera caster bolts, uh, but we'll go back to that at, at a later point in time for now. Uh, for the rear differential mount, I went with the center mount. Again, that's part of figuring out what I need to do to correct all the geometry back there. Uh, so I just went with what it is from the stock from the factory, which is the centered uh, differential mount and that's going to be a little bit softer it's 80 a durometer so it's a little bit softer but it's still stiffer than the rubber one um, and if you know anything about these uh, diff mounts from the factory they're only connected in like two spots with the rubber so all kinds of crazy stuff and it just fails pretty quickly especially on the roads that i drive this car on every day um, they're pretty rough back roads so not not a whole lot of potholes but there's a lot of undulation and it. it's not perfectly smooth um, which actually creates a really fun driving experience, uh, really wears like consistently on, on the parts of the car. So upgrading those to something that's gonna be uh, last longer and be stiffer is what I really wanted to do with that. So that's great and all, but how does that help you, the viewer, understand how stock versus modified feels? Well, let's go real quick and I'll do my best to explain to you what the differences feel like through my eyes and through my experiences. the pros the cons how it feels what's going on uh, what is polyurethane bushings can I do it to my car these are some of the questions that I had when I was first starting out many years ago and the answer is yes for the most part every single car has a little bit of bushings whether it's in the sway bar or in some of the other suspension uh, and steering components there are often at times uh, aftermarket polyurethane upgrades available for most cars so definitely look into it definitely check that out uh, I love it it's one of my favorite mods I've ever done to any car it just makes the car experience so much more lively 
so much more reactive, so much more engaging. <laughs> Get out of here, Rock. So what do I plan next for this car? Well, I want to do the ECU. I've been looking at an ECU Masters Black Edition standalone unit. They apparently work pretty good with these engines. Uh, it's plug and play pretty much, other than maybe a few little modifications to the harness. Um, that's going to replace my stock ECU and allow me to plug my laptop in with a link cable. Then I can do some tuning, maybe a little launch control. Just get a little bit more power out of this while I still daily drive it for the next few months while I'm working on that K engine. That's my plans for that. Also want to do some seats over here. I think that doing some seats would really add a, more of a sporty feel to this car. Unfortunately, this thing's got like the base model seats in it and they're pretty flat. They don't have much bolstering. So I'm going to definitely get some seats. If you guys have any suggestions about seats, because I'm not quite sure yet, leave them in the comments below. Want something that's going to be easy to get in and out of, but still have like a lot of bolstering for daily use uh, and track use as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.